story of the movie is uh, two brothers who have to fight off a creature. Um, it's the idea is is really a homage to old films like E.T. and The Goonies and some of my favorite 80s films like old Amblin, Steven Spielberg movies. Um, and they, the idea is these two brothers have to fight this entity that's under the bed and nobody believes them, parents, friends, and uh, you know their struggle to deal with what's under their bed. We really wanted to create a movie about the creature under the bed. You know, we all have that sort of fear when we're little and I have three brothers and that's sort of where it came from. And we would sit in one room and have these little campfire stories in our room and talk about what's possibly under the bed. And uh, you know, it came from that. It was just, what is that primal fear when we're kids? Why is there that fear? It's, you know, there's sort of that uh, little monsters kind of thing going on or even Monsters Inc, which Pixar did really well. So it's like, you know, we thought, what's the horror version of this movie and what could be fun to show people that they haven't seen before about this, you know, entity that could be under the bed. The creation of the monster is a very fun part of these kind of movies and I think that's my favorite part is trying to figure out what's this thing going to look like. Um, and I sat down with uh, Constantine, um, Constantine created monsters for the movie Constantine. Uh, he's done a lot of like monster creations um, and then we also sat down with uh, Vincent Gastani and uh, who did all of our practical effects because this movie is 100% practical. There's no CG in this movie. Um, and so we sat down to design a creature that was in the vein of aliens, but like, you know, still grounded in some kind of an organism. And uh, it, it was a fun process. They came up with an amazing creature. I couldn't believe they built this creature from the ground up, 100% um, practically done. Uh, it looks fantastic, uh, and it was just one of those things that it came out really great, and we were lucky to have these effects guys come on and be really passionate about the movie and do something really creative. Practical effects are extremely important to me. I think anything I can see and touch and feel is scarier than what I can't. And I think that an audience member is really going to appreciate the fact that this monster, that this kid, are fighting on screen. It's not this kid fighting nothing. I mean, this kid is fighting a monster. So I think that's something that was important to me. And it's also important for my actors as, these, as kids is that they were able to see this thing and I kept the monster hidden from them for the entire shoot until they had to face him on purpose because when they faced him, even though it's, it's a set, it's still dark and there's smoke and this, this thing comes out of the smoke and it's for a little kid, possibly scary. And uh, I think it really helped their adrenaline. It was important for me to have that sort of adrenaline on set. So I think if you have that sort of adrenaline on set, it transfers to what the audience is watching.